Hey what's up guys my name is Pavinder from PNP Tutorials and you are watching the PNP Tutorials channel and in this video we are going to talk about how we can crack the password of WPA2 5 GHz Wi-Fi routers. So far we have created a couple of videos where we have talked about what is evil to an attack and how we can capture the password using the evil to an attack. But all of those attacks were performed on the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi routers. In this video we are going to cover it for 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi router. Before we go ahead, we have installed the Kali Linux 2024.2 onto our VMware workstation. If you don't know how to install it, then the installation video is given in the description below. Now the first thing that we need to figure out is we need a USB Wi-Fi adapter that should be capable of transmitting the signals on 5 gigahertz and it should also be capable of going into the monitor mode. I have one USB Wi-Fi adapter. The name of that Wi-Fi adapter is Panda PAU09, which is an affordable option as compared to Alpha Network's USB adapter. I will give the link of that USB adapter in the description area. Before we go ahead in the video, I just want to let you know that I am using my own router for the demonstration purposes. I am not hacking and harming anyone while making this video. So I don't recommend you guys to perform this attack on any router which you don't own. Let's say if you have just recently bought a USB adapter, then how you can actually check if your USB adapter supports the monitor mode and it also supports the 5 GHz frequency. For that, what you will have to do is you will have to type in a command called IWList WLAN0 frequency, where WLAN0 is my interface. You could probably have WLAN1 or WLAN2 if you have more than one USB adapter connected to your VMware. Enter your password and here you can see guys, I have all those available frequencies where there are so many 2.4 GHz frequency and we also have 5 GHz frequency which means this USB adapter can transmit and receive the signals on 2.4 GHz and 5 GHz as well. Now I think it should be on the monitor mode. Let me just verify it with the IW command and here you can see guys WN0 mon is there. Now if you want to check 5 GHz Wi-Fi routers then you have to enter a command called sudo airdump ng and you also have to specify the band and the band would be A followed by the monitor mode interface wn 0 mon that's it enter. Here is my mobile phone and I have set up a network name as test ap 5 g which is running on WPA2 personal security and it is only transmitting its signal on the 5 GHz. If I will be able to see the test AP into my airdump ng, then in that case my monitor mode will be working perfectly along with the 5 GHz frequency search. So here you can see guys, this is my test AP 5G. So I'm gonna press Ctrl C over here. Now I want to capture the handshake of this Wi-Fi router. For that uh, what I'll do is, I'll quickly run a scan on this router. Here I've written a command called airdump ng where I'm specifying the BSS ID is the MAC address of the Wi-Fi router which I want to attack on. So here is the MAC address and the channel is 157 and I'm writing the handshake into the test AP handshake 5G and I also need to specify the monitor mode interface and that is WLAN0 mon. So I'll hit enter on it and I will wait for someone to connect to this Wi-Fi router. I'm trying to connect my iPhone to this Wi-Fi router so that I could capture the handshake. I have clicked on join and as you can see guys we have got the WPA handshake as well. Now I'll press Ctrl C. Now we need to use this file to crack the password and here I have the 11 characters word list. So I'm gonna run the aircrack ng attack. Here you can see guys I've used a command called aircrack ng and here I need to specify the name of the handshake which we have captured for that 5G router and now we need to specify the word list with hyphen w and I have created a custom word list with 11 characters cracking the password of this Wi-Fi router so hit enter on it. As you can see guys Aircrack NG is cracking 7500 keys per second. I'm using this Kali Linux in the virtual machine. So the cracking process is slow and I think this word list was having 41 lakh password. So it will eventually take some time to crack the password. And as you can see guys, we have been able to crack the password and the password is router at 123 hash. Thanks for watching this video guys. If you like the video then give it a big thumbs up. And if you are new to this channel then don't forget to subscribe it. I will see you in the next one.